Today, we are here to focus on four key areas. Firstly, the state that we are in, who we trust, who we will trust, who we should trust. We need to tackle misconceptions, we need to tackle problems with perception, we need to tackle those crazy stereotypes, but we also need to be wary of hype and we need to carry out the dialogue with honesty and humility. Unless you can give people information, unless you go to the schools, unless we communicate transparently what's going on inside the power plant, people don't trust it because their basic distrust is of radiation. It's really nice to see people talking about the shared journey of humanity and about coming together and working more collaboratively to do things that are better for the people, especially in the very disrupted times that we've got at the moment. When you meet people from creative industries or from business or from tech or from science who you don't normally engage with, that's really where new ideas can form and where real change, societal change can happen. Scientists must admit humility. They've got to say what they don't know. They've got to have the courage to admit that. They don't say, oh, don't you worry your little heads about it. You know, we'll just trust us. Trust is at the heart of across society, business, science, and just to hear different people's perspectives on that was really, really important. Technology doesn't just streamline and optimise the traditional way in which these professionals have worked, but we argue it actively displaces the work of traditional professionals. I'm immensely optimistic about the future, but it has to be an inclusive future, an inclusive of as many diverse voices as possible. Consumers aren't interested in advertising, and they're not interested in brand stories. They are much, much, much more interested living their own lives and in their own stories. Scandals like MPs, expenses, corruption in sport, FIFA, doping, malfeasance of the banking industry, FX, LIBOR, Jimmy Savile, all these issues are having a hugely corrosive and profound effect on public consciousness. And these scandals and a sense that companies are being driven by profit, not by purpose, is forcing us to where we are today. I think the highlights of the day has been the really energetic debate. It demonstrates how complex some of these issues are, whether it's climate change or investment in nuclear energy, they are very critical to society and to citizens. Yeah.